What's going on guys? It's Elias. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see today, we are taking a look at a dash cam. So uh, this is a Vantru dash cam X3. It is a Wi-Fi HD dash cam. So I've been looking for a dash cam for quite a long time because sometimes it gets kind of crazy out there and I want to share some clips of what I, what I gather while I'm out in the highway, while I'm out in the local town. Uh, I would like to share some of the things that I see. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys think that's uh, helpful or not. So as you can see here, I'm uh, unboxing uh, this dash cam. And uh, if you're interested in taking a look at it, I provided a link to the dash cam in the description. So uh, it comes with an instruction manual, obviously, and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, it's very well packaged. Uh, this is the dash cam itself. It's very small, very compact. It's exactly what I was looking for. There are bigger dash cams out there with you know bigger batteries and things like that. I didn't want that. I want something that I can kind of put in the corner, run a wire to it, and uh, not have to worry about it. This is the mount that it comes with. It's actually a pretty high quality mount. And the connector to the car. So that connects to a uh, cigarette lighter port, uh, auxiliary port. And uh, this is how the dash cam connects to the mount. It's pretty simple, pretty robust actually. I like the way it does that. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some footage here. Now as you can see right away, I, uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with how uh, this dash cam captures the footage. Yes, this footage is from the dash cam itself. Now as you can see, this is uh, taken in early fall. Uh, this is back when we still had some leaves on the trees. Currently it's December, we'd have none of that. I'm glad I was able to share some of the footage uh, back in the early fall because you can see some yellow, you can see some green, and you can really see uh, the color uh, as it comes out through the dash cam. It's not quite as good as a GoPro or a Canon camera that I use. Uh, of course not, it is a dash cam after all, it's pretty compact, but for what it is, I'm actually pretty impressed. So uh, let's go over some of the specs here as, uh, as I take you guys through some corkscrews and, and through some beautiful um, back roads here so like I said I wanted a 1080p uh, and this actually offers 1080p at 60 frames per second and this is actually very impressive I love that I can take 60 frames per second at 1080p um, big fan of that it actually gives you smoother video and it captures a bit more uh, detail as well and as you can see the, there's a squirrel kind of kind of run, ran by almost uh, picked up the squirrel I gotta be careful with those all the time around here the deer as well and people as you'll see in a little bit but yeah so this actually also can uh, film at higher resolution rates uh, at 1440p according to the specs and it does it pretty well but I'm not a big fan of higher resolution for higher resolution sake uh, I like quality and uh, you know I'm not saying that this is not high quality uh, but there's a reason why I haven't switched over to 4k yet and that's because first my systems are not designed for it I don't have the computing power to take care of it I don't have the hard drive space to take care of it and second I just don't feel like there's cameras out there that really take advantage of that 4k stuff so with all that said, uh, as you take a look here, uh, yes, I am in my 2018 ZR2, uh, and the beautiful blue comes out pretty well here. As you can see, that somebody's wearing a red sweater there. It comes out pretty good as well. It contrasts well against that blue here. Uh, and you can see the yellow and the green and the black top. It all looks pretty good. I also do like that uh, it has a really wide range of angle, 170 degrees, uh, and it captures a lot, and you don't see a lot of distortion at the edges, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the other thing that I like is that it does come with different modes, so you can park this, you can park your car, and you could use the dash cam to record events, and you can use your dash cam uh, to, to see what's going on when you're not around. It has a G meter inside for it to know when there's motion. So as you could listen in there, you can listen, you can hear that it does come with a built-in microphone. And while it's not gonna be a very impressive microphone, it's a very small microphone, uh, it actually picks up pretty good sound. Now I wouldn't recommend you doing YouTube videos using that microphone. It's it's purely for uh, functionality, not for quality. Um, but it actually, I'm glad it does come with a microphone because sometimes you do want to hear uh, what's going on around you. It, let's say you get into an accident. It's it's you know it'd be good to hear what what happened was my were my tires screeching were they not not that I'm saying I want to get into an accident as you can see here also I like that red uh, color on that car as contrasted with the blue hood on my ZR2 uh, and then you got that gray CRV there 
uh, and uh, it captures a wide field of view. Look at that. So uh, we can basically look at everything that's happening in this parking lot here. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, I'm over here. That's uh, at Harbor Freight in Allentown. Um, so that's the parking lot that I'm at. But yeah, so it captures sound and it captures pretty decent video. The skies are pretty gray, but it still manages to capture pretty good color. Let's take a look at this uh, 335 or 325 IS or I with, uh, with a nice little wing there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Inside? I cannot. Now I want to take a look here. So if you, you see here the color reproduction of the camera, again, is more impressive than I would have uh, given it credit for. Now take a listen here at me accelerating just to let you guys enjoy the, the sounds that this camera can capture. So as you uh, listen there, uh, it sounds uh, pretty good. Like I said, it's not the highest of quality sounds, but it's pretty good. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it actually is pretty dark at this point. Uh, everyone has their headlights on. I have my headlights on. Uh, it's not quite as noticeable, but it still looks really good and crisp. There's no artifacting. There's no issues. And I'm very impressed with the low light functionality of this camera. So here we are. It's much darker. It's basically, uh, no more sunlight left very very is I call it twilight this is the, the twilight time is right after the sun goes down but you still got some of that leftovers and still the camera captures really good images you can see a lot of detail uh, you can see the individual windows you can see pretty far away um, the only thing that I don't like is how it kind of flares up with those headlights with those incoming headlights uh, that probably be one of the biggest negatives that I have at, in low light when you have incoming light uh, from other cars, it kind of tends to blind it a little bit. Not sure what can be done to fix that, but uh, in terms of its low light capacity, it's pretty darn good. And that uh, is mostly due to the fact that it has a 1.8 aperture lens. Now, if you guys don't know about lenses, if you're not a photographer, you wouldn't know about this stuff. Uh, but the lower that number, the better it is and the more expensive it is to, to design a, a lens around that because it, it, it has to do with lens speed. My Canon camera has a 1.8 f-stop and I really like it for that because it can take really good low light pictures and videos and this has that same type of lens. Now it is a very small digital processor. You're not going to get the highest quality but honestly for a dash cam this is way more than you need and I was blown away with the low light resolution of this camera. As you can see to the right, you can see a lot of different detail. You can see the speed limit. Uh, you can, you can, if if you were, if I had a, a car in front of me, you can easily make out the license plate, which is what you need. You can see the signs are a bit overexposed. That's the only thing. Anything that's lit up, as you can see, those headlights, incoming headlights, it, it is overexposed because it's trying to capture the low light around it now as I was driving through here I didn't expect the camera to capture anything but I was pleased to say that it came out really good and uh, I definitely looking forward to using this camera uh, in the long term uh, expect me to uh, share uh, videos from this dash cam every once in a while maybe once a month or once every couple of months uh, and it's basically a compilation of interesting things that I've captured uh, because I do tend to drive a lot and I do tend to see a lot of interesting things uh, but yeah, so if you guys are interested, like I said, the link is in the description. And um, I actually purchased a 256 gig SD card for this, and uh, that works pretty well with this. You can capture a ton of videos with that that size of an SD card. So I recommend you get that. I'll put a link of in, in the description for that as well. Now here we get to the lowest light possible. I mean, this is basically pitch dark at this point. 
Uh, there's a little bit of twilight left, but uh, from the cabin, I really, I was extremely dark. I couldn't see anything uh, without my headlights. And this camera seems to capture any light that's around. Again, very impressive. I think uh, this camera uh, is a really good bargain for about $110. I really think uh, it's a good camera. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.